and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, February 23rd, 2017. Read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, everybody. It's Sue O'Reilly here from Chart of the Day Cafe. Hope you're having a good week so far. Looks like the markets will be opening up in the green this morning. I'm filming this at about 8.15, but it looks like the futures are going to open slightly higher this morning. So with that, let's get into today's video. We always start off with a look at the Russell Index. We do that because we want to make sure that before we put any new charts forward for our watch list, we are putting them forward in a rising market environment. So we always step back to take a look at the Russell Index, and we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and we look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. We like that bigger lay of the land look. We were keeping an eye on this light blue shaded line that offered resistance back here in 2015, but as we've been talking about lately, the candle for the month of November 2016 pushed us through that light blue shaded line, and we are now up in this area here, trading out of this little mini wedge that we had identified. So here's November, December, January, and February so far. It's the 23rd strong looking candle so far. Let's move it away from the five year monthly to the one year weekly so we can better see how price is behaving. Here's that little wedge we were keeping an eye on and I had my two orange lines kind of like a band around price that anchored this candle here that marked the beginning of the wedge. Uh, but price is up and over. You can see this light, blue, uh, sorry, orange line here. It's up and over that area of prior resistance, now support. Last week we had a doji on the Russell, so kind of want to be careful. A doji means indecision, the market's looking for direction. Yesterday was a bit of a soft day, but it looks like we might get some strength in the markets this morning, so let's see how it plays out. But here's that wedge on the weekly. Let's move it away from the weekly to the daily. Uh, and you can see this was yesterday, but it looks as though we might want to keep an eye on things today for sure, just to see if uh, that weakness continues or if we start to lift and move up and on. We use this blue line, which is the 8-day EMA, as our guide when price is up and over that 8-day EMA on the Russell. We deem the market to be showing strength, and we put new watch list picks forward. So we're putting a new pick forward this morning. And so the chart we're going to feature today and add to our watch list is HBI Haynes Brands, Inc. Before I get into the chart, though, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be very familiar with it. They're a huge apparel brand company. They manufacture, distribute, and sell under the banners Champion, Hanes, Playtex, Bally, Legs, Just My Size, Wonder Bra. They've got a growing international footprint. Really like the chart here. So you know what Chart of the Day Cafe? It's all about value, and the current value score for Hanes Brands is nice and high right where I like it. Second thing I look for is growth, and Haynes Brands has a current forecasted earnings growth rate of 17%. Third thing, it's not a must, but when it's there, it's a really nice thing to have, and in this case it is there, is a dividend yield. The current dividend yield for Haynes Brands is 2.82%, and the PE is 11.31. So with that, let's get into the chart. We're looking at the five-year monthly chart. You can see that on the five-year chart, it's in an uptrend and possibly lifting at this area of support on the shorter uh, time frame, the two-year chart. So five-year chart, nice uptrend. Now let's tuck into this area here. So I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. The reason I'm choosing this is because Haynes Brands is past their earnings. They announced their earnings and they've increased their dividend by 36%. Uh, they seem to have a growing footprint on the international side. So my thinking is if the market continues higher with Haynes Brands coming into seasonal strength as well as retail, with those numbers and that dividend increase, it may get picked up here. So we'll see. Emphasis on May, I don't know, but it is a nice looking chart. So we're looking at this area right here. You can see that it's coming into this confluence of our area 
of support resistance. It's just a rough area, but I like the way it's behaving here and the volume coming in. And again, we're past earnings, so we don't have to worry about those earnings numbers. So let's move it away from the one year weekly to the three month daily. Like the way it consolidated here, we had this little lift yesterday. We do have a three and eight cross, just, 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 but with a strong market environment and retail coming into some seasonal strength, I would like to see and we'll be watching for Haynes Brands lifting further from this area. We always like to take a look at the sector that our watch list pick is in and for that we're going to look at the XLY which is the ETF or the consumer discretionary space. Kind of surprised me that it wasn't part of retail, uh, instead it's in the XLY uh, and it's also part of the S&P. So we're looking at the five year monthly par uh, chart for XLY, you can see it's in a beautiful uptrend consolidated for a long time and then broke higher. So, so the sector that Haynes Brands is in is showing strength. I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the six-month daily because I want you to see we've got uh, dojis, back-to-back -back dojis on uh, yesterday and the day before. Dojis are in decision, so you want to be aware of that. But overall, the sector is showing strength. We also like to look at seasonality, and for that we go to equityclock.com. I mention this site all the time. It is a terrific site uh, where you can put in your uh, whatever you're looking at and find its seasonality chart. You can see that Haynes Brands comes into that seasonal favor at this time of year and has a nice run. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always nice to know. You know, in preparation for these videos, I always like to put other things in front of you. And one of the things that really attracted me to this chart was the increase 36% increase in its quarterly cash dividend. Um, also, we like to go to Finviz. We're at finviz.com, um, a great site. And you can see that um, if you go down to the analyst section, recent reiterations and upgrades of the stock, which is always good to see. And I'm also going to include a link to their um, conference call where they talk about the international growth strategy and its success. So with that, I will leave you. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll put another video out next Tuesday. Have a great day, everybody. So let's go back and check our boxes for Haynes Group. We looked at the market overall with our review of the Russell Index, and we can see that the market overall is in an uptrend with price in the Russell up and over the eight-day EMA on the daily chart. We looked at XLY, the sector that Haynes Group is in. It's in a very strong and consistent uptrend on the five-year chart. We want to note those dojis recently though, so we want to be careful here. Haynes Group is in an uptrend on the five-year chart, possibly basing here on the two-year chart. So there's a confluence between the five-year and the two-year. Uh, it looks as though it's creating a basing pattern, but we need to monitor it to see. But it looks as though it may possibly want to lift here. These are highlighted because they're absolute must at Chart of the Day Cafe. It's got a great value score and it's got a nice growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate of 17%, a current dividend yield of 2.82%. It has a 3 and 8 EMA cross, just, just, just. So these are all checked. Seasonality in its favor, check the box. Analyst support, recent upgrade, check the box. Current PE of 11.31. We don't have to worry about earnings. They've just announced their earnings. And why would it lift off of this area? What's the changing story? They've got announced a 36% increase in their dividend, recent upgrades, and advances in their international growth strategy with the acquisition of TNF Group. If you want to hear more about this, I would encourage you to go to the website and listen to the conference call. As a reminder, I wanted to say if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the red subscribe button on the home page. As well, wanted to remind you to check out this discussion section where Monday through Thursday I will endeavor to post little notes. Uh, on anything worth noting that I see after the market close, fresh three and eight crosses on some of our past picks, that sort of thing. Worth checking out. Thanks and have a great weekend.